I will quickly show you how to do a sizing on the Cedar Pumps agent portal. Go to cedarpumps.com, log in, use the email and password that you registered with. You are now on the dashboard. Then go to sizing tools, pump sizing, and here you can do a pump sizing. Most of you are familiar with this image. It just explains the info needed to do a sizing. So you can put in your customer name here. This will customize his pump sizing report. Then you put in all the boreal information. Where's the static water level? The example we're using, it's at 30. His tank height from ground level is 20 meters. That's on a little hill. And, that he, and the pipeline is about 40 meters. Then he is using a 40 millimeter pipe. Very important for the friction loss calculation. And he needs 6,000 liters of water a day. His closest town is Bella Bella. And the total depth of the borel is 80 meters. You just press calculate. If you want to save the sizing for later, you can just click here save for later and it will be under your saved sizings. So the first thing you see here is a pump option in red. This is the first pump that didn't make the cut. As you can see, the SIVA 80 with two, two, 270 watt panels only gives 3,900 liters of water per day. We put that one there just to show you which one doesn't make it. Sometimes this pump only pumps 100 liters less than what the farmer needs and then it could be a viable option. But in this instance, it's nowhere near the 6,000 liters. Then I will look at the options. If you need more options, you can always click here and see all the available options. Uh, the DC pump range is over here and the AC-DC multi-flow range is over here. Let's say this customer wants a three-year warranty, then the SIVA range will be the one to go for. So a SIVA 100 with two to 70 watt panels gives him 6,987 liters. I can then click on this option and I get info on screen. I can see how the pump performs throughout the year. There's some installation tips and I can see what the total dynamic head is, the pipe friction loads, etc. To generate the sizing PDF, I click on the, this button over here. Then you can click on download now. The PDF will download, you can see in the left bottom here, into your downloads folder. If you open the PDF, there's a lot of in useful information. Top right is your client information. Here are all the inputs that the client gave you, static water level, tank height, etc. Then the pump we suggest with the solar panels and is average flow per day. This is a yearly average. Over here on the left, you can see the average water per day in each month. Very important depending on what the farmer farms with and when he needs water. It's also a daily yield column over here and an hourly water yield column over here. So this document is important because your client can see that you've done your homework and you recommend the correct pump. It is also important because it covers you in case the client gave you wrong information. So most of our agents get the client to sign off on this document agreeing to these input numbers. So if the static level, water level in the area drops because of a drought or whatever, um, you are covered because you have sized the pump according to the farmer's needs at this moment in time. And that is how you do a sizing. If you go back to the app, you can go back to that sizing and change inputs or you can do a new sizing. If you've clicked on save sizing, all your save sizings will be here under save sizing. There's that one I just did. So that is how you do a sizing on the app.